Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about how exactly the delay line canceller perform its operation by cancelling the delays in the circuit. So let's begin with the topic. In case of MTRRR, the receiver consists of a delay line canceller which plays an important role. The object can be detected properly by using the moving target indication radar. In case of MTRRR, the single delay line canceller is not enough to remove the clutter present in the MTRRR output. So in this topic we are basically going to discuss how the delay line canceller able to remove the clutter present in the output and we are also going to discuss the following points and the points are illustration of sweep to sweep subtraction using waveform example in delay line canceller. Now we know that the output of the MTR radar is nothing but the bipolar video signal which is having both positive and negative amplitude. So this output signal which is a bipolar video signal is generated by using the MTR radar by using two successive sweeps. So a fixed echo clutter signal having the fixed or the same amplitude or having the same pattern from one sweep to another sweep. And even if the one sweep is get subtracted from the previous sweep, then the sweep is get cancelled or we can say the clutter, fixed echo clutter is get cancelled and it becomes undetectable. Whereas if we consider the moving target echo, then in case of moving target echo, the one sweep having different type of clutter than the other sweep. And therefore, if one sweep is get subtracted from the previous sweep, then in that case, the clutter is get cancelled and remaining residue of that moving target remains. So in case of moving target indication radar, the relay line canceller basically used to remove the clutters which are present at the output of the MTR radar. The output obtained at the receiver of the MTR radar is get digitized by using the analog to digital filter and it is acts as an input to the delay line canceller. So basically the delay line canceller is acts as a filter that is Doppler filter in case of MTR radar. Now here the delay line canceller performs the function of subtraction of sweep. Now if we consider the time period as a T which is obtained from the output of the MTR radar and the output of the MTR radar is get stored into the memory. So the time period T is given as T is equals to TP which is equals to 1 upon FP that is reciprocal of the frequency. Now in case of MTR radar the signal obtained that means the output of the MTR radar is a bipolar signal which is having both positive and negative amplitude. So that video signal is acts as an input to the delay line canceller in the digital form. So the digital signal present at the input of the delay line canceller is get subtracted by using a delay line canceller. So delay line canceller are basically used to delay the signals from the successive sweep. Now in case of MTR radar, the bipolar video signal is get converted into the unipolar video signal. And finally the unipolar video signal is converted into analog signal by using digital to analog converter. And further the signal is get processed and then given to the PPI indicator that is plan position indicator for the display purpose. Now let's consider the diagram to understand the operation of the delay line canceller in detail. Now here in case in this diagram figure A indicates the moving target having two directions that is or two position which are indicated by arrow. So here the signal is get converted into a unipolar video that is indicated by figure C and then it is get converted again into the analog signal by using the digital to analog converter. So this is how the MTI radar delay line canceller operates. Now let's move to the MCQ part. The first question is in the delay line canceller to subtract two sweeps together we need do not need a memory element and the option is nothing but the two options that is true and false. We can say option B that is true. The given statement is true because in case of delay line canceller if we want to subtract two successive sweeps then we do not require a memory element. Now let's move to the next question. And the question is in the sweeps generated by MTR radar the moving target position are identified by Option A is zero variation in the successive subtracted sweep. Option B is variation in the successive subtracted sweep. Option C is the pulse generation in the waveform and option D is both B and C. So we can say the option D that is both B and C are the correct option. That means in the gen sweeps generated 
by the MTR radar, the moving target positions are identified by variation in the successive subtracted sweep and also the pulse generated in the waveform. So these two are important for identifying position of the moving target in case of MTR radar. So this is what about the delay line cancellers which are used in the MTR radar. By using the subtraction method, the delay line canceller operates on the MTR radar receiver. So basically in case of MTI radar, the delay line canceller is acts as a Doppler filter. So I hope you understand this topic of delay line canceller used in the MTI radar receiver for cancellation of the SWIP. So thank you very much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Subscribe Ikeda. Thank you.